I gotta think of a way to get this money by tomorrow. Huh? I gotta think of a way to get huh? I gotta think of a way to get this money by tomorrow. You're now locked in to another episode of the Black Aristocrats Podcast. You feel me? We are here for the culture, current events, talking brand, conversations about the grind. I need this money. And spreading the greatest wealth of all, knowledge. Come on, man. Let's talk this black aristocrat shit, man. Come laugh with us over some informative ish. I'm a joke, y'all. I'm working on my jokes. On the Black Aristocrats Podcast. What up, people? We in here for another one. And I got my favorite, my girl, the co-host. You feel me? J to the A, to the N. To the N to the A. A. What's up, my people with the business? What's up? Well, hello, my doing? friend. How we doing? Living, you know, my thing for trying to do the right thing, man. You know, we got to touch bases, you know what I'm saying? I like how your hands free. I'm going to have to work on me a mic placement so I can be hands free. You know what I'm saying? So I can yes. be at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So first and foremost, we're going to toast. You feel me? We're going to toast, you know what I'm saying? What you drinking, JoJo? I'm drinking a little bit of Crown. Oh, fantastic. Just a teeny weeny. You feel me? Just a teeny, just, <laughs> just a, <laughs> just, <laughs> just a little bit of crown. <laughs> weedy, weedy. Just a little bit of crown. That's it. Just a little bit. You know how Take we that. do. Just, you know that's just a little bit. That's just a little bit of Chardonnay. That's a little bit. You feel me? You on your Chardonnay? I like Amen. it. Amen. I like Those it. Right? Say, hey, Chardonnay. You see that rhymes? I like things that rhymes. Like you look good. You look good. You ready? You ready? The people. Love you know, you. baby, listen. I'm gonna get gussied up just for this special occasion. Because on Sunday is raggedy, ponytail, no bra, no face, no nothing. But I was like, you know what? I can't be coming on this podcast looking raggedy. I like it, man. That's well, what's here up. I am, hunty. <laughs> baby, y'all see here in the flesh. Y'all been hearing on the audio. Now y'all get to see her in the flesh. You feel me? So J to the A to the E to the A has braced y'all with her beauty. Not only the beauty, but the brains. You did? Hello, somebody. Well, I got a little bit. I don't know a lot about a lot, but I know enough about a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, straight up. I like it. So it's been a minute. We got a lot to cover. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to keep the people. We going to get right straight on into it. Um, the mm-hmm, hot topic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying that's been on like the top of the list. Um, black people have been able to what you call breathe a little bit, and some black people is like, shit, I'm not satisfied. That ain't nothing. And uh the George Floyd decision. Um, mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on the George Floyd decision? Ladies first. I, you know, it's good that he was held accountable with the conviction, but baby, we ain't got to sit in 10 years. I'm not even getting up out of my side outside of my body because. We don't know what that judge could tell that man. Might give him probation, might give him time served, might let him go sit down and say, I feel good old house arrest. Um, hmm. The proof is in the pudding, like the old people say, baby. I'm waiting to see how many years this man's life is worth to these people. Okay, so you ain't satisfied? No. And plus, didn't they introduce a bill that still sitting on somebody's desk? Facts. It's a lot of bills so, sitting on the It's some bills sitting on the items. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That damn bill stay in my damn mailbox. You feel me? So yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of bills we tend to. Um, my thoughts on it was kind of I kind of feel like you, like I'm not satisfied. Um, I want to see exactly how the sentencing is gonna work because right. um, like as everybody know, he got found guilty of third degree. You know what I'm saying? Not mm-hmm. first degree, not second degree, third degree. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So um the charges all the time on that is not as significant as we want it to be. Another right. thing was um, I felt like it was a guilty, it was a guilty decision. Like literally, when I say guilty decision, I mean they did not want the motherfucking city to burn in flames. Excuse my language, YouTube. I know I'm working on my sponsors, but I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, not, it is what it is. They did not I want think, the city to burn. And I don't burn. know where he wouldn't get that lawyer from. He must have got that lawyer from the King Martin, my baby, because that man, you did a horrible job. <laughs> <laughs> Like he just like, oh, give him. He fresh out of school, don't know shit, but that's okay. He, hey, you, you, come on in here and try this. It was horrible, but that's what. You kind of wanted. I don't know if it was like it was like they was in cahoots. Mm -hmm. It was just a bad, really bad job. Like, was he really working for the prosecutor? But like you say, I really just feel like they they knew what time it was. Yeah, it was a guilty decision. They would have told that motherfucking city upside down. Correct. 
other other you know outlets been saying and i agree man i've been saying that too like i just felt like you know they didn't they would rather save the city versus they actually you know what i'm saying do the right thing you know what i'm saying Correct. so um it is what it is hopefully like you right. said they'll wait and see mm-hmm. i'm not i mean these days i'm not impressed by a lot so what else right. Right. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, like, when, when I heard the decision, I didn't even, like, go to my, my social media and say, yeah, yeah, guilty, who, who, who. I'm like, nah. Right. It's, like, they were clapping and throwing yeah. parties. And I was like, what are we celebrating? Exactly. If you really think about it, what are we celebrating? What? And it's a shame. It really is a shame that we're so happy that somebody finally got guilty, that we just right. forgetting about all the stuff that has yet to come. Because, you know, everybody just murders, shooters, dying like dogs, and they just be like, oh, justified. Facts. So, Facts. so moving on like to I the say, we'll lady, see. let's move on to the young lady. You know, she got gunned down by the police officer. Uh, once the again, same day. lady, yes, the same day. Ironic, huh? Ain't that ironic? Shit. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Four checks in the same day. Wouldn't that be ironic? <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> you know I could use it. You know what Whatever. I'm saying? Right. Let, I, what's your thoughts and on this that? Is, this is why we can't get happy about anything right. because it's still happening. There's right. nobody out here to say, oh, yeah, you know, he got guilt. Okay, but what did anybody else learn? After they kneeled on that man naked, like, everybody was like, oh, well, he's going to be, you're going to have to take the fall for all of us because we're just going to continue, you know, the okay, program. Okay. okay, let me ask you this then. The biggest gripe that I get that you have to push back on to a certain degree is the whole resist thing. You get a lot of people say, oh, well, they shouldn't resist or if they wouldn't resist, none of this shit will happen. Okay, well, actually, they watch the news because Facts. I got what's that in Minnesota where the man mm-hmm. was hitting an officer in the head with a hammer while the officer was hanging on the car and he was driving away with him. And they had like 20 in the mother out there. Did anybody shoot that man and kill him? All these mass murderers who just so happen to look like this side of my hand who didn't kill eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 people. They stopped and got him a little burger, got him a little drink of water. So, you mean to tell me this little girl? Could... And look, I totally get the other side of the argument. And well, if she would have stabbed that girl, if she would have stabbed her, you know, then we could have lost that life. Okay, but the police use all kind of training and all this extra, you know, restraint mm-hmm. when it comes to people who look like them. Mm-hmm. While we just get all oh, automatic, that's automatic death sentence. If they come and you even a little aggressive, it's like, you know, with social media these days, we've seen far too many examples of them having all kind of restraint. Mm-hmm. When it comes to people that look like them and the people right. like us, is automatic. You automatically date. So, 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 to be clear with the listeners, what, like, what's your, what's your thoughts on that, on that, sen- on that, that incident? So okay, listen. so this was my last video. I'm gonna just tell you that because I feel I don't want to watch any more black people get slaughtered in the streets. Um, I don't know if you watched the video, but immediately after he shot the girl, another cop walked o- walked over from out of frame and started administering CPR. So how many of y'all was there? He just drove up and started busting, but how many of y'all were already there? Okay. okay. So nobody tried to defuse the situation. And then they had some grown ass adults in the driveway. So nice. I was like, I feel like this situation could have been handled before the man even got there. Now I'm not saying they had 20 cops there. But what I'm saying is y'all have a motherfuckers on the daily. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all okay, gotta, now, now I gotta push back and play devil's advocate. If mm-hmm, that was- mm-hmm. Would you still have those same feelings as far as, you know, if that was your child on the receiving end and you seen somebody at a knife was about to stab your child? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why, I mean, this situation is so two-sided. You know, it's, oh, uh, if this happened, if we didn't do this, then this could have happened. Because if that's my child on the other end, on the receiving end of the knife, yeah, baby, do what you got to do because that's my child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think we all feel differently when it's somebody directly connected to us. So it's kind of like from the outside looking in. So we can all say what we think should have happened. Yes. But at the end of the day, I don't think the little girl should be dead. Period. Yes, because yes, it's always a what if. Um, my right. opinion on it is I feel like it starts with the police officers who, like you said, are trained to do this and do that. Y'all spend time at the gun range. I'm sure you do. You feel me? Right. Um, you should know the difference between trying to get a good leg shot in you know what I'm saying, or you know what I'm saying, a foot. I shot. mean, she ta- she tackled one girl directly in the front of him. If y'all scared to do that, listen. This should be the protocol when y'all pull up. Just shoot there. 
Ho, ho, right. pow, 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 pow. ho, ho, y'all stop. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the non lethal warning? Yeah, you know. Because I was saying? like, you know, when, when she fell in front of him on the other girl, like, can nobody, like, could he fell on top of her? Could he have, like, immediately grabbed his taser and hit it in the back with it? I mean, uh, why taser, are police automatically back, trained back. for center mass? Why back. are they trained for center mass for everything? Facts. I mean, I agree. That's the only thing that don't sit well with me. You try to find the common ground with all of it, Jay, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's like it's happening too much to us. You feel me? So it's, right. it's starting. It's starting to be like, okay, nah, goddamn, it's just happening too much. Now I'm starting to feel like it's really some bullshit going on. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we only really seeing it because people are recording in the popularity of social media. What you think was going on back in the day when nobody was looking and nobody was recording? So, Man. I mean, we are too small of a percentage of the United Man. States. You know, black people is, what, what they say, 14%? So why are we getting killed at 43%? Low 20s, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. But we 43% all, that's that's almost half. So you mean to tell me every black person that y'all didn't kill deserved it? Okay, so you got any solutions? Because we can't always uh, I think, talk or like they need... complain about the problem and not offer solutions. Oh, oh, actionable you know items okay i mean, think that down, that's what it's called actionable items. don't just tell me what you're gonna do what are some things that you can actively put into practice actively start working on to say hey if you come across this kind of situation that's what i'm saying they train to kill that's what police are are doing they crime responders they got crime fighters so when they show up that they're just trying to defuse the situation by any means necessary so it all starts in training Okay, let's give examples about, oh, if this, 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 this is going on. And you roll up on the scene and there's a big fight. You got pepper spray. How about we do pepper spray first? How about we do non-lethal first? And then if you find, oh, after you didn't pepper spray, you got 30,000 things in that goddamn police force. You got a baton in there, not saying it, you know, just start cracking heads. <laughs> Hell, get but, the dog. Shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Usually pepper spray is a really good deterrent. But everybody's okay. getting a dog. <laughs> Get oh, yeah. Dog. All they got to do is buck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get the dog. You don't got to shoot bean bags. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of ways. It's all kind of ways. So, yes. they. And how about we just don't train them to kill? Those are the solutions. So, our bowl of informative gumbo as far as that situation occurred, we need everything Jay said on top of more. Utilize all them tools besides the gun in y'all right. cop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's it, man. Y'all got yeah. thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment, but we just gonna come out bust, and we just gonna come out bust. This is unacceptable. Tax dollars, okay. we pay for it. God damn it! You know I hate Whatever. that too. Say that people be trying to belittle the cops. Hey, I pay for your job, asshole. Come what on, you man. do? I know, but come on, like that's not belittling the cop. You feel me? You can nope. say other stuff to that. You know what I'm saying? It's funded, and you know, <laughs> uh, on the radio the other day, they was like, "How about we start taking all these civil servants out of your pension?" I bet you think we're second about real they, they, when they you know, sock it to your pocket. Hello, when they sock it to your pocket. You gonna learn your lesson. Do yeah. you know that the police called my phone the other day? You know they got that uh state police. Hi, uh, Jano, this is Norman from the Louisiana Police. Click. You don't get my motherfucking phone. Do you know I'm black? I know you got that on my demographic. Don't be calling my goddamn phone right now. They because they want donations, so I'm gonna pay you. For doing time. a horrible job the wrong in time. any other job. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I know you seen black female on that paper before you pick up that phone and call my ass. Okay? It's the wrong time. <laughs> and he called me at work because, listen, baby, I wanted to get real G on the phone, but I could not because I was in front of them people. <laughs> yeah, I was ready to read his ass. What's the voice you gave him? What's that work voice you gave him? <laughs> hello, hello. I just hung up because I was like, yeah. Must not know. <laughs> Maybe my mouth get loose quick. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, hello. For, oh. for real. That work Got voice different from that goddamn I'm in the streets with it. That work yeah. voice. Hello. Different. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Hello. <laughs> oh, really? silly Norman. You have the wrong number. Wrong number, guy. You feel me? Oh, goddamn phone. And I was like, for real. That's I crazy. Put the phone oh. on, baby. You don't know what. <laughs> baby, I got time. I wish I right. had time, because I'd have read his um, ass. We got time today. You know okay. what I'm saying? Girl. Tell Norman call me after 3 o'clock. <laughs> tell, tell him call me after You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I hate that, man. Spam calls. You know what I'm saying? But, um...
yeah, man, we went off on the tangent, but that's just part of it. You feel me? Um, it is what the TI is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so real And quick, look, let, let's just say, parents, let's teach our children better. Because if that little girl was home and they was, like they say, the initial story was they was better jumper, why you went outside? Right. They wouldn't have came in your house. You know, these days, you have to tell your children is, is no dishonor in walking away. Because they'll shoot your ass right. these days. Them children don't want to fight. Right. But the peer pressure is, you know, you call the police, the police, you feel me? That's the peer pressure. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they probably went outside to be big, bad, and tough. Who knows how it went? But at the end right. of the day, we said, you know what I'm saying? That, that don't even matter. But at the end mm-hmm. of the day, before we get off this, we just need cops to be more proactive and stop being, you know, um, shoot, shoot the kill, kill, kill first all the time, especially right. people of color. And minorities, mm-hmm. tone that down a little bit. If y'all can tone that down a little bit, then yeah, we gonna talk to our people and working on the the regret, the uh, the restraints and the uh and 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 the, the fighting back all the time. You know what I'm saying? We gonna try Correct. to work on it too. But I mean, they fighting because they scared. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. Fact. What the fuck you put fight or fuck? flight? Hey, and they ain't trying to die, so they what they're gonna run. That's just a natural yeah. response. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So y'all just stay tight, people. Keep it together. Prayers go out to everybody involved in that situation. You know, may the best outcome, a fair outcome come out through all that. You know what I'm saying? And right. as, as anything, hopefully, is a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? For the mm-hmm. police officers. You know what I'm saying? So um, on to the next. Jay, we got, uh, what you think of this corona shit? Is it ever going to go away? Uh, mm, That's a tough one. Uh, I looked at the stats this morning. I know there's 100 million people vaccinated now um i personally took the vaccine because i want to go outside <laughs> and if my children gonna catch them they're gonna catch it for me um so i just i think it will go away i think when people stop being so mm, i don't want to say ignorant but ignorant is not a bad word it just means you don't know and i think people listen to tv too much you have to make that decision for yourself because everybody, yeah. don't you want to go out? Well, first of all, you live in Florida and y'all been outside because y'all just don't get ah, too far to space. Ah, hey, feel me when I say we wide open. <laughs> Florida, if I don't give a shit was a person or a state, that's y'all. Y'all don't give a uh, all of your motherfucking governors <laughs> putting orders and mass mandates down, huh? Come to Florida, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Florida. What's that? Please. Yes. I'm trying not to tell the fuck. They don't give a fuck. You have one, they, laugh, they laugh at you if you wear a mask in Florida, man. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you live in the right place, boy, because y'all ain't never shut down. Wide open. You feel Correct. me? Wide Correct. But, but, let me, but look, though, like, I feel like my thoughts of it is I feel like it's going to go away. In my, and me and Conspiracy mm-hmm. was talking. Conspiracy P say it's going to go away because they did not think these lazy Americans was going to capitalize on this unemployment. You feel me? And not work these jobs. Sit they lazy ass at home and just fuck up the whole economy. You feel me? So now they see that shit backfiring. So now they like, fuck mm-hmm. Corona. Corona got to go. You feel me? Oh, no, baby. It's <laughs> over. Y'all can go outside. Go on here and go to work. Like, Fact. You feel me? Fact. Look, as long as that president wants to keep on passing out them Biden bucks, I'll take them Biden bucks, baby. You keep on sliding that money in my account. Direct the direct deposit. My yeah. uncle Biden, he don't even send you a check. My uncle Biden just give you money. I like. I can. I, I can smell the stimulus. <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> smell the stimulus on you, huh? <laughs> you and you know what? what? People oh, thought they was like, oh, oh, oh we're gonna. We're going to bankrupt America paying all the stimulus. You realize that's your own goddamn money you're getting back. I've been working since I was, I was 15 years old. Where the fuck do you think that money coming from? Thank you're you. getting your own money back. So you Thank might want to settle down worrying about who did what. Thank you. You feel me? So I, I really don't. I, I feel like it's going to go away because they see how people like. I'm talking about the, the social or the economic impact Corona has mm-hmm. did. I have seen big businesses like. You know, um, like a Chick Fil A, for example, they have cut their hours in half at certain locations out here. Right, they don't have enough employees to cover the right. staff. I didn't see businesses cut back on days. Oh, we cl- we only open these four days instead of seven days because 
don't have any employees. The shit is crazy. I never thought I'd right. see nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Even and you like know what? Pain. Right. But, and this is why I got vaccinated because people got to go to work at the end of the day. Right. I think a lot of people are really scared to get back into like the the um service jobs because you have no protection. You walking around in the restaurant all day and let me tell you, the mask is not gonna harm you, but that that's some pressure when that mask all day, baby. I don't wanna do that. All day. Hey Jesus Christ. That is real. I haven't got vaccinated yet. I was like last time I checked, I was like a hundred thousand in line. A couple people had got sick, they found another strain of it, so I fell back, so I gave people mm-hmm. my spot. So now I'm like number 200,000, I think, but I'm still in line. Shit. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> in I'm in line to get it, though. So whenever. Oh, how? You want to come back home? Because it looks like you can get a shot faster <laughs> if you was here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to come back there and get what a the shot. Hell? I ain't never heard nobody 200,000 in line. What the hell going on in Florida? You see what I mean? I'm in line. I don't know who, I'm in line. who in charge of y'all. Where's your manager? I'm in line. <laughs> got you. I'm, in line. <laughs> I'm in line. I'm not the whole goddamn state on one waiting list. I'm just a nice guy. See what happened was I seen a hundred thousand old people older than me walk in, so I just let them go. So y'all can go. Y'all need this more than me. I'm gonna go to the gym today. Y'all go. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Y'all go in. Y'all need this. Y'all go. But like I'm, I'm saying, wait. like. How many distribution sites do y'all have? Because these numbers are not adding up, baby. But like I said, Florida. <laughs> I mean, I seen I seen some stats too where like they like like the corona vaccination shit is plummeting. Like it ain't doing the numbers. Oh, it is. They project. I mean, I think I think once people once it started hitting home for people, like oh, corona is a hoax. Remember that? And then they started yeah. being people that was close to them that started dying. Everybody at least know one person who didn't had bad effects from Corona. So I think that kind of deterred them for a little while. But once they got tired right. of that, baby, they was tired of that. Yeah, so it I did. think it kind of yeah. gave us a little cushion. I agree. So the numbers I could agree. fall. No. Okay, so Jesus. what? We say, we say all this to say this. Take your shot. If not, come to Florida and be hot to try, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was closing and Florida was like, what? <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> we going to the beach to celebrate. Baby, you did. For real. Yes. Oh, baby. You can tell when, when the video is on social media if they're from Florida, baby. Y'all just do the most. Facts. Okay. You don't see a mass on us. You know that <laughs> most people got their little masks hanging off the air. They want you to see their mask, not in Florida. No, they put it on the they put it on the on the rearview mirror like my grab. <laughs> this is decoration. <laughs> For your mask. <laughs> For real. But all right, on to the next. We got R.I.P. Y'all. It's a moment of silence to R.I.P. to the legend. Um DMX. You know. R.I.P. DMX, the dog. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a bark? <laughs> you feel me for the dog? We dig for the dog, man. Uh-huh. R.I.P. <laughs> the dog, man. Now, now, come with that. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a lot that come with that, man. You've seen, like, family members come out of nowhere. Um, It, it was reported that, you know, um, like, X didn't even have, like, a will or all his stuff in order. Um, This is the most important bowl of informative gumbo we want to stress to everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Including me, you know what I'm saying? Including Jay, everybody, man, how important it is to get a will. You know, if not a will, you're not ready to go deep down that road yet. At least have something written in writing and getting it notarized. That way, if something was to happen to you, you know, all that is taken care of and your family is not fighting and fussing and bickering. And all this and that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm gonna be right. transparent. I'm gonna be transparent and use my my situation as an example. Like when my mom passed, you know what I'm saying? My mom passed. It was no nothing left over, nothing. My mom just made sure her burial and all that was covered, and nobody had to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it ain't no need to leave no money around because she been through with her family. She seen how that shit tore families apart. You know right. what I'm saying? People I'm out the woodworks for some shit that they would never a part of. You know what I'm saying? Right. That shit just come to a family, man. So um, 
you know, she she did that, and I respect her reasons for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I, I you know, that made me think a lot about it. You know what I'm saying? And 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 just to go through a process like that, you're already mourning. You know, you're not thinking straight. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. to have take some of that stress off of your family member. You know what I'm saying? And have that right. taken care of. That's a big thing. That's a real big thing. So Jay, you got any um any any thoughts? You know what I'm saying on on how important the well, will is? I've seen firsthand because I work in the hospital and people die there all the time. It just brings up worse than everybody. Now, we yeah. have people that actually went on ahead and did a will, and then the mm-hmm. children come in the hospital and get, guess what they do, Jojo? It is possible that? that your family can come along later and rescind your 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 wishes and then just decide to do whatever in the hell they want. So how, that's why not have, only get the will. Don't they have to have like, oh, a power? Oh, listen, but that's the thing. You have to have a power of attorney to say, this is what I want. Don't let nobody come and change my stuff. But a lot of people don't think about that because they think, oh, I paid for my barrier. I got my insurance, blah, blah, blah. And they don't really designate a person to be in, in charge of that. So then if it's depending upon the whole family and all the children, you could have two of them that say, no, we ain't doing that. We're going to keep our mama alive by any means necessary. Mm-hmm. And we're going to make you suffer in the hospital while you're trying to die. And we playing tug of war with Jesus mm-hmm. because people don't want to let mom go. So not only get a will, make you a power of attorney and make sure they understand these are non-negotiable things. If A, B, and C happen to me, don't let my children come in here and decide, oh, you know what? We understand mom didn't want to live like this, but we're going to go on ahead and leave her on that vent indefinitely. Because yeah. some people come in the hospital, get a vent, they get a peg tube, you know, and they go to a vent nursing home where they're going to live for the rest of their life. You're going to never smell the roses outside, never feel the fresh air, never pick up the phone to call your loved ones. So, I mean, we really need to start considering people's wishes. Even if they told you and didn't write it down and something bad happened, you know in your heart of hearts that that person wouldn't want to do that. So we can't be selfish. Death is going to come for everybody one day. And those are hard conversations that need to be had at some point. Right. And the worst and thing I don't... is push it off. Right. Because we think, oh, you know, you got time. You got time, baby. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. And I already told my husband, you let me go stuff in the bed somewhere. I'm going to haunt your ass when I finally close my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to make sure shit is flying out the cabinet. I'm a, you ain't going to never get a good night's sleep again, nigga. <laughs> Don't come play with me. Let him be like, I'm going out tonight. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, you going out? How? Your tires is going flat. Oh, what is wrong with my car? My transmission died. <laughs> Ooh, no, no. Everything, dog. For real. My my locks is frozen on my house. I can't get out. Or remember, That's I was trying to get out and you ain't let me. That's so now me. you gonna suffer. That's I was like, me. y'all got to settle. You know, people got to settle down. And you know, a lot of times people who are of faith say, you know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. No, the Lord didn't came, baby. The Lord yeah. came already three times. And you just said, no, do everything. You say, my mama, do everything. Okay, well, we just we'll do these compressions and we're going to put you on all kind of medicine to keep you alive. And some people look cold, 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 cold. And sometimes I feel like I've got a black heart because I've seen it happen so many times, Jojo. But we got to let the Lord do his work. Okay? Especially if people have been sick a long time. Hey. Respect their wishes. Okay? Yeah. Especially if that's their wishes, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. They come in after we didn't put them on the bin. They've been on the bin for three months. They got a trick now because you can't leave them on a the bin longer than two weeks. So now they got a trick in it. And they got to pay a feeding too because you can't leave the thing in their nose because they can get all kind of issues with that. And that's what they say. Oh, mama didn't want to live like this. But y'all continue your current plan. So what the hell? Yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah, for real. Okay. They plan. Yeah. Do you know how serious it is for somebody to come up with a, with the plan to say, if this happened to me, to let me die? Yes. That's not no small thing. You know, it's exactly. not a small idea to say, if this happened to me, just let me die. Exactly. You know, I, I get it. It's hard for me to even think like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, sit down with your kids and, and, and prepare them for that. But it's, it's obviously, it's something that we all have to do at some point. It's we necessary. Can't. Yes. Yes. It so is please. not a nice thing. It's not yeah. nice at all. Yes. It's hard. It is. But it's harder yeah. if you try to take their decision into your own hands because you don't want to see somebody die. You know? Right. That's selfish. So I'm going to make you suffer forever. And getting in the hospital and staying there for a long period of time, 
you get breakdown in your body, your nutrition state is poor, so not giving you constantly giving you stuff. We constantly pumping you full of medicine. Then you get an infection, you get one because you're in the hospital and now you got all these lines in you. So it's not a good life. It's not a life. It's no quality. So quantity versus quality. If their favorite thing was to go to bingo on Sunday and go to the, the Sunday dinner at church and you know that they're never going to do that again in their whole life because they're never going to get out of facility because they're on the vent. Don't do that to your parents, man. Facts. All your loved ones. Facts. I Anybody. Like I like it. That was well said, man. And, and, you know, um, you know, like, like she said, man, Jay is in that field, you know what I'm saying? So she see it a lot. I'm saying a, mm -hmm. lot, a lot. So she, you know, she has experience with that, man. So we just basically or stress telling everybody, please think about it, do your research on it and, and get it together. If, if you don't want to go talk to nobody and it's hard, just make sure you write something down and lock it somewhere and keep it notarized so somebody can have it. Right. You're too lazy to write. Designate, something? designate, designate, designate. Facts. Facts. And then Pick like, a person and they're yep. in charge. Are you too busy to write something down? We in a technology age. Record it. You feel me? Record Correct. it. You know what I'm saying? It's so like, easy these days. Yes, it's so easy, man. So that was it, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, for joining us. You feel me? Black Aristocrats Podcast. You feel me? Season three. J to the A to the N to the A. You feel me? You got anything to say before you get out of here? I want to talk about Kendrick Carmouche, and I want to tell him that the Exit 11 is so proud of him for everything Fact. that he has accomplished. Because let Fact. me tell you, baby, I was pissed off and I was pissy mad yesterday because he you was in the won Kentucky race, Derby. Should have won that race, boy. The eyes on you, feel me? If you would have won, we all would have hit because we did bet on you. You feel me? Okay. We I'll bet it on him, but I ain't going to lie, JoJo. I bet I, I had a couple of other things cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I put the most money on him, okay? <laughs> but I, I did what I'm doing. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, that's what we do. You feel me? Yeah. So shout out, man. Kendrick Kamush, you feel me? Um, He from the area, baby. The whole exit behind you, you know what I'm saying? Keep kicking ass, riding them horses, big money derbies and all that shit, man. We with you. And also, before we get out of here, too, R.I.P. Booney Loke, man. You know what I'm saying? We lost another Yeah, soul. man. That was sad. That's sad. That broke my heart, man. Hold it. Hold your head to the whole family out there, man. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all, baby. The Black Aristocrats Podcast. We are out. Eat Black Aristocrats shit. This is the Black Aristocrats Podcast.